Ooh, this eyeshadow, I can't stop looking at it. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this is my very first makeup look done in the new room. I did film another video, but it's a haul and I don't know which one is coming up first. So I think you're gonna see this one first though. Today I decided to do a video with a full face using Pat McGrath. I knew that this was what I wanted to do for my very first video in the new house because I knew I was gonna love it and I knew it was gonna be glam and that it was just gonna make filming in this room very special. So everything on my face, except for my brows, is Pat McGrath today. So if you wanna see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. But before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So hit that subscribe button and stick around because we do tutorials, hauls, reviews, everything makeup related and a little bit of fitness on this channel. So I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look. So just keep watching. All right guys. This video has been a long time coming because I have wanted to do a full face of Pat McGrath for the longest. And then I was like, you don't have her primer, you don't have a blush, well, maybe you can use something from a palette. And then the blushes came out. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab those and we're just gonna make it do what it do. So today I'm gonna do a full face of Pat McGrath and I'm going to use the very first Pat McGrath palette that I ever got which is Bronze Seduction. I kept the box because I was like, this is the only one I'm buying because of how expensive these are. But that didn't stay the case for long because I did buy some of the other ones. But this one, I felt like at the time with me only wearing warm tones was gonna be the best bang for my buck. I have only used this a couple times. I don't know why, but this is what it looks like. I know we've all seen it before, so we are gonna do a bronzy, summery, glowy look, full coverage, everything using Mother Pat. So I'm gonna start with, I did pick up the primer recently too. So I got the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. So we're gonna start with that. I just got this during the friends and family sale and I have not used it yet. No idea what this feels like. I thought the texture from what I've seen on reviews was a little bit more liquid, but I think I actually like, this kind of reminds me of my Becca Brighten and Blur Primer in terms of the consistency. The only thing I don't have, I don't have brows. Um, she doesn't have any contour stuff like bronzers or anything like that. Maybe that's next. But yeah, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna do what I can with what I have, but pretty sure I can make this work. I don't have brows either, so I'll do that off camera. Primer feels nice. Definitely feels like my Becca one though. So I don't know in terms of dupes, but feels pretty good. So now we're going to move on to foundation. I am going to color correct because I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Foundation. I got mine in the shade Medium Deep 24. I do think the color is a little dark, a little too almost cool neutral for me, especially without being tan, but we're gonna make it work. But I am gonna color correct because it's not really full, full coverage, but I want to cover most of my hyperpigmentation for this look. So we're gonna get into the foundation now. Love the packaging of this, comes with a pump, very luxe looking. So I'm gonna start with two pumps. This is very liquidy. So that's one pump. I'm gonna take a half a pump to put here and then another half a pump for the top part of my face. Cause we know I don't do a lot at the top. So of course I'm gonna stipple cause I want to try to get maximum coverage. This foundation is so pretty. I don't know if I would have gotten it because I think it's like $68 or something like that. Um, I don't know if I would have gotten it when my skin was oily because there was no way I'd be able to wear this all day. 
but I just I've taken pictures with it even though the color looks a little off to start with and I feel like it comes out so good I just can't do golden foundations even though that is kind of my skin tone because I don't like how they look in pictures so that's the first two pumps blended out I'm not gonna do a tutorial per se I just want to get ready and talk to you guys and catch up this is another full pump so you can see it's definitely buildable love it but anyway today is actually Memorial Day I'm not going anywhere I'm not doing anything I'm literally putting on makeup to film this video and then <laughs> I'm gonna go relax. I'm waiting for the last two pieces of my build out for my pack system to come, which should be here literally any minute. They just called and said your delivery will be there soon. So I'm waiting for that and I'm gonna finish that today. And then let me know if you guys want, well, I already said I was gonna do it anyway, but comment below and let me know if you're excited to see what the new space looks like because I cannot wait to film it. I'm gonna put a little more foundation. I am trying to go for more of a full glam look since we are doing packed, but I'm not sure how much I can build this up and I don't want it to just start sitting on top of my skin. So this is going to be the final layer. We will get whatever we get from this. So there, that is where we're gonna stop as far as coverage. I think this looks really good. It's not 100% full full, but it also, even though I put like four pumps, it doesn't feel heavy. Okay, I had to get that damn hair out the way because I do not wanna be moving it this whole video. So this is where my face is right now. Love the coverage, moving on to concealer. I do have her concealer. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade M17. Originally, I bought shade M20 and it was way too golden. So I ain't giving it away. I ain't throwing it away. I don't know. I keep saying I'm going to use it for an eyeshadow primer or something, but I don't know if I'm really <laughs> going to do that or not. So we'll see. But I love this concealer. It is good coverage. It blends out well. And I love the tone of this one as well. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit just so it can dry down and have fuller coverage. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the blush while we're waiting. I picked up, they had a kit. I wanted three blushes, but then I saw there was also a highlighter and you know your girl has to get a highlighter. So I ended up getting the Divine Blush in Paradise Venus. And then I got Electric Bloom, and then I got the highlighter, which is Golden Nectar. There was one other one I was looking at, but it was a little more cool toned, and I just decided I didn't need it. This one is Electric Bloom. So this is what she looks like right here. Absolutely gorgeous color. Love how bright it looks electric. And I'll swatch it for you real quick. That's what it looks like on my finger. And then there it is on the back of my hand. Love this packaging. Y'all know I'm keeping this packaging because my room is purple. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere. This one was the one that I knew I was gonna get. This one is Paradise Venus. So beautiful, more of a bronzy, kind of warm terracotta shade. That's what it looks like on my finger. That is what it looks like there. So I feel these shades are different enough that I don't feel like I pretty much bought the same thing. And then the highlighter, I know this is going to be blinding. And y'all know I love it. Here for it. So, oh yes. Y'all, that is gorgeous. I started not to get it and I'm so glad I did. So we are using all of those today. All right, I'm back. Had to go get my sponge and then also my stuff just got delivered so I get to finish as soon as I'm done filming. But as you can see even for as long as we let that sit this is very brightening. 
but it's still blending out really well. So that's why I love it. I know this might look crazy, but don't worry. It will all come together. And y'all know I always like to go back around the edges just to blend it in with my foundation. I didn't add anything extra to the brush. So then to set all of this, I do have my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder, little small compact, and this is in the shade Medium. They did just come out with a banana. No, I'm not interested in getting it. I'm going to keep this one and be very happy with it. Only thing I don't like, and I don't know if you guys can see how this is kicking up in the pan. It's crazy. You use a lot of product. So that is why I said if I got this, I was going to pick it up every single sale because it's expensive. And I feel like I'm going to go through it quick. But this just blurs everything. So gorgeous. But this is making a mess all over my table. That is the only thing I don't like about this powder. But you can't deny the finish. Definitely think it is worth the headache of the mess you gotta clean up after. So you can see like it's all over the pan. Just, it's messy, but it's beautiful. So now to set the rest of my face, which I don't always do, but since this foundation is a little more glowy and I could use maybe a little more coverage, I also picked up recently the setting powder, the Sublime Fetish, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection setting powder. This is a loose powder. This one is in the shade Medium Deep 4. So it just comes in this compact. I normally prefer powders that are not in a compact, but this is pretty deep. I wonder if this is going to be more like a bronzer. Let's see. I'm just going to take my powder brush and start on the perimeters of my face. It's a little dark, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be as dark as it looks. Oh yeah, it does. Whoa. Oh my God, that's not blending out, is it? Okay, it is. It looks like it's sticking a little bit and it is a bit darker than I thought it was. So, I wonder if we can use this for a bronzer. I'm scared, I think it's just gonna I think I could build this up and use it as a bronzer. I feel like it's kind of sticking. It's blending, but like when you first apply it, it's sticking. So it's the only thing I don't, I'm not sure what that's about. Well, this came in clutch. because I was gonna use an eyeshadow, but now I don't have to. But I still don't have a face powder. You see, it kind of looks like it's sticking a little bit. It's not, it's a little patchy, but I think it'll be all right once I put my blush and everything on. So what I'm gonna do just for you guys to be able to see how the blushes apply, I'm gonna mix them, but I'm gonna put one on one side, one on the other side, and then blend on top of them if that makes sense. So we're gonna start with Electric Bloom, which is the really bright one. And I'm gonna take my blush brush, and when you dip in, a lot comes up. So we're gonna start, okay. Blushes like this, when they come up that pigmented and they're powdery, you have to kind of start more towards the back just to make sure you don't put too much in the front. But that's what that color looks like. I think that's gorgeous. 
definitely glad I picked that one up. But this bronze one, I just knew was going to give me life. So there you see, picked up a lot on the brush as well. Definitely more of a bronzy, almost like a, it's not a bronzer because there is some red in it, but this would be like the perfect, just sun-kissed, give some warmth as opposed to feel like you actually have a bronzer on. I mean a blush, if that makes sense. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the highlighter on and then I'm gonna go back with the opposite blushes so you guys can see that I put them both on each side and then it'll also <laughs> look the same. But I love the wash of color that that gave and I love this nice little pop. Y'all know I love blush, so we're not even gonna go there. I'm gonna take this highlighter and where I cannot wait. Ooh, a lot picks up, so you gotta be careful with that. Already, it looks so much more like icy in the pan, but there's a slight, I don't know what to call it. It's almost like a, it's not a, it's a warmer highlighter than I thought it would be. There's like a slight gold undertone to it, but it looks icy in the pan. Oh, you should have <laughs> Well, at least it blends out easy because I definitely just put too much right there. But we all know I use a lot of highlighter. So like I said, we are going for super bronzy. Glam. Highlighted. All of it. The highlighter is gorgeous. And now to go back and blend so we don't just have a streak on our face. So I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts on this. A lot of people, you know, we've done videos, I've done videos, I've seen a lot of other people do videos where they show like, oh, you can get a full face of makeup and it looks expensive and high-end and all that, but you use drugstore products. Okay, cool. But does that make you feel like you don't want to spend the money to buy high-end stuff? Because I know for me, like, part of why I love makeup is being able to try all the different formulas. And, I, you know, yeah, you can get good looks with... I'm just mixing everything right now. Um, you can get good looks with drugstore stuff. But at the same time, it's something about the packaging and just the feel of the formulas. Sometimes they're easier to work with that I love. And you just can't always get that with drugstore stuff. I've shown you guys that whenever I've done the um, eyeshadow mostly, that you have to work a little harder sometimes. So I don't know, what are you guys thoughts on that? Do you buy high end? Do you kind of stay away from it? Do you only buy if it's something you really want? I think this contour is enough. I think this highlight is enough. So I do not have to use an eyeshadow for it, but y'all, I am so glad she finally came out with blushes. I do love both of these. There's enough contrast that I don't feel like I shouldn't have bought two. And this highlighter, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna compare the three. I have her trio and then I have the other three highlighters. I'm gonna show y'all those and show you the difference so you can tell if you can still get the other ones, which one you think you'd like better. Okay, so the highlighters I have. I have this trio that I got a while back. This is the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. This comes with three shades in it, obviously, because it's a trio. One is Iridescent Pink, which is this one here. Then the middle is Fine Gold, and then this one is Bronze Nectar. So those are the shades there, and I'm not sure if you can, you can kind of see it there. These have a very pretty, it's not showing, but I'll swatch them. Um, iridescence to them. So I'll do the pink one first, then fine gold, then the bronze. So those are the three there. All of them have the same formula. That's the pink one, that's the fine gold, that's the bronze. So you definitely see the pink on there now. This is more of a yellow gold and then this one's more of a neutral kind of bronze like it says. 
So then with the single highlighters that came out, the first one that I picked up was this heavy duty mama right here. This is Champagne Gold in the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. This one has the screw off top that I've accidentally dug the top into. And then that is what she looks like. So that one is there. So you see clearly different from all the other ones. Then I also picked up the Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Gold Highlighter. So this is one of the more recent ones in the pink. This one does kind of look like more of a rose gold. This one has a slight shift. It's a gold and pink shift to it. I hope you guys can see that, but those are there. And then this last one, the newest one, it's the Divine Glow Highlighter, which I don't know how this one is described. I feel like all of these look different. You could maybe kind of say, but this one still looks more, I don't know, it looks more like a champagne gold. This is a, like a pale gold. This is more of a warmer gold, but then these are even warmer than that. And then that of course is pink. So I hope that gives you guys an idea. If you're thinking about picking up a highlighter, you're not sure which one you want. The formula feels the same for all of them. So it's not like if you get one, if you decide you want the trio because you want to have three, you're going to get a worse formula, not even close. All right, so now we are moving into the eyes. So I'm going to use Bronze Seduction. I don't have my little sheet that has the names on it. And so I'm just going to show you, I'm going to start with this warm transition color and put that in my crease. I haven't used my Pat McGrath palettes in so long. I definitely think if you're into bronze or warm tones and you just want one palette that you can get from Pat that you can use a lot, this is the best one. So you can see this color, you can build it up and it actually looks a lot deeper than it does in the pan, so I like that but I am going to deepen up my V a little bit and I'm gonna take this darker brown here. This shade is a deep purple. I don't know if I'm gonna use it because I'm gonna try to stay with the bronzier colors, but we will see. See how dark that is? That's the brown. That is dark. That's one of the things I love about high-end shadows, high-end makeup in general. Like, I feel like not all of it is, I mean, the best. There are some high-end products that are probably just like, this wasn't worth the money, but I have yet to be disappointed with anything from Pat McGrath at all. And I am not on PR or anything like that. Every single piece of makeup that I have from the brand I have bought with my own money. So this is my opinion. Even if they did send it to me, I would still be honest, but... This has been one of my favorite brands since I first got this eyeshadow palette. And this palette made me want to get more stuff. So not blowing smoke. I love it. Then for my lid, I have never, I don't think I've ever used this color. I got to do it. I was tempted to do this one, but I really want to use one of the special shades. Ooh, that's pinky though. So this is the first one that I showed the more gold and then this one's pink. I'm probably going to mix them. <laughs> so that's the two shades there. This is the more gold one and then that's that special shade. So we might have to use that special one because I love that shade of pink. But we're going to go in with the gold. I said I wanted to do bronzy so that's what we're doing. And I'm praying this does not fall all over my face. I need to get my spray. Hold on a second. All right. I am going to just press this into my skin. I am not swiping because I do not want it to fall on my face. And I did wet my brush. I'm just using this little Avion spray. I don't know when or why I got this. I think it was when I first got into setting sprays and I was like, oh, I need this. I don't know why, but YouTube says I need it. 
Look at how pretty that is. So gold and bronzy and just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm almost bringing it into the inner corner, but we're gonna use a special shade. I have to. So I'm gonna take a little bit of, I don't know which one I wanna use. I think this top one is gonna be so fun. This one here, you see all the different shifts in it? It's kind of pink, kind of gold, but then it looks white, then it looks green. Yeah, we are doing it. Ooh, that is green, whoa. Well, um, can y'all see that? That turned into a color I was not expecting. But what you do to one side, you just do to the other. Wow, that just amped that up so much. I'm gonna sweep it just a little bit into this other shade to blend them. I said I wasn't going to wear today, but boo, after this, you might just have to. I'm gonna take a little bit of the red just to make it a little more, ooh, yes, a little more warm and bronzy and just delicious I'm just putting that gold a little bit back in the middle to make sure it doesn't get lost but just look everything blends together so well it's crazy And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the red on my bottom lash line as well, and then smoke out the outer part with the dark brown. So this is what we have for the eye look insane this is why i love pat mcgrath's shadows like just i feel like nothing ever really looks exactly how you think it's gonna look but it all just goes together so well so i'm gonna go ahead i do have a liner from her but it's not i thought i had her liquid liner but i don't i just have i got this in a set this is the black smudge liner eye coal so it is just a black pencil. And I'm gonna run a little bit of that on my bottom lash line. Now I will say, I think this is just okay. It's just a regular old eye pencil. Like it's not anything revolutionary. And I remember when I first got this, I was upset because the whole thing had come out and was just in the bag. I'm gonna run a little bit of this across my top line too. And then I do also have mascara. So I did get a small size of the Dark Star Mascara. I haven't tried this before. I heard mixed reviews about it, so I wasn't that excited about getting it. I didn't plan on buying it, but it came in one of my perfume sets. So, hmm. Okay, I'm not mad at this mascara. I'm gonna see how it builds up, but just off the bat, I feel like a lot of mascaras don't give me that much definition to start with. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there. Like usually the first swipe I put on, I don't see anything. It takes a while. This is like grabbing on and sticking and showing from as soon as I touch my lashes with it. Let's see if I can add it to the bottom and not mess up my face.
This mascara is good. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I'm not even lying. I don't think I've had a mascara make my lashes look this long and full together. It kind of reminds me of why I fell in love with the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara, but I feel like this is even more. Like, I don't think I'm gonna put lashes on. This is good. Yeah, I'm not putting lashes on. So I do have, I only have one lip liner. I got ground control a while back. It's a brown. I love this liner because it's so creamy and pigmented at the same time. And then for lipstick, I have a little mini trio that I got when I first wanted to try her bullets. So I have these three little ones. This is, oh, I can't see. Fetish number three, Omi, O-M-I, and 1995. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those for you guys. So this one is OMI Omi, which is a very pretty, just kind of neutral mauve. We're not gonna use that one because we are doing bronze. That's what that looks like. Then we have flesh number three, which would be more of the shade we're looking for today. Love that. I think this is the one I wear the most too. And then this one is 1995 which is more of a nude. So that's that one there. But I did finally pick up a gloss and a liquid lipstick. So this is the gloss in Bronze Venus. Look at how gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's gonna go today, but at the same time, I kinda wanna wear it just because of how pretty it is. And then I also have one of the Matte Wear Liquid Lipsticks in Divine Rose. This is the only one I picked up. I don't know if it's gonna go, but at the same time, I don't think I'm gonna make it go. Oh, I don't think it's gonna go, but it's so gorgeous. That's the, where are you at? Over here. That's the only liquid lipstick I have, and I was able to get that on sale. I don't think it's gonna go. We're doing a bronze look, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think it's Flesh 3, but I might put that gloss on it though, cause she beautiful. The color is gorgeous. It's just really dark, and if you're trying to keep it more neutral, you can either go over it with the OMI shade, which is a little more pink so to help kind of lighten it up a little bit but you know what we're gonna use the gloss because the colors on my lid it just it needs to be done so we're gonna do that watch this look at how gorgeous that is i put this on for the first time and my mouth my jaw dropped The color of it, it's smooth, it's buttery, like it's just. So that is everything for this look. I'm gonna go do my brows, take this hair down, and I will show you guys the final look. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I, I gotta find somewhere to go because we cannot let this go to waste. I absolutely love how this turned out. I love my eyes, I love my eyes. I blotted because I need to drink some water. So I'm going to add just a little bit more gloss because I want it to be back popping like it was earlier. Just a little bit. There we go. So this is my full face of Pat McGrath. I didn't do a big wing and all that like I normally do because I really wanted to just stay with the products that I had. For my brows, I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And that is it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like how the look turned out. Comment below and tell me what you think about this eyeshadow. That, like, Pat never does wrong with her shadows. Absolutely love this. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you enjoyed the video, join the family, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.